Welcome to Sour Sunday. I am your host, Chef Brian Sow. This is the show where we make awesome sandwiches inspired by the most unlikely of people. Today, we're gonna sandwich Justin Wang, guitar player of the band Jinx, as well as a YouTuber of the channel, Wang. Wang explores the deepest and the darkest mysteries of the internet for your entertainment. And also just so happens to be one of my personal favorite channels. I sent Justin eight questions to answer, which I'm gonna use to inspire the sandwich that's ultimately gonna be named after him. It may be good, it may be bad, but whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. What is your relationship with food? I'm not super picky and I'm all about trying stuff I haven't had before. I'll go out of my way to check out a place I heard was good. Lots of spicy food too. What foods do you hate? I hate cooked fish, can't stand the smell. What are your ideal cheat meal foods? Whenever I leave NYC, the first thing I eat when I come back is chicken and rice with white sauce and hot sauce from a halal cart. Big ass bowls of ramen are good too. And pretty much any kind of fat ass bacon cheeseburger. Do you have any food quirks? Things you eat or do with food that most people don't. I like to eat shrimp tails and the whole shell if the place does that. The salt and pepper shrimp from Wohop is one of my favorites for that. Justin mentioned a lot of different types of food in his questionnaire and it was kind of hard to pick one, but I think I know where I want to go with this. First thing I'm going to do is thinly slice some shallots. We're going to mince up some garlic. Thinly slice some Fresno chili. I'm leaving this seed and all. Here I have some shrimp. This is a 16-20 size, meaning that there's 16 to 20 pieces per pound. It has been completely peeled. No shell, no tails, no nothing. Sorry, Justin, but I am gonna have to serve this to people one day. I'm going to toss the shrimp in some cornstarch mixed in with just a touch of salt. Shake it off gently and then float it in the oil momentarily before I let it go and allow it to fry. This will help prevent it from sinking to the bottom and sticking. I'm also making sure I do not overcrowd this pan, meaning I don't add too much product at one time because every time you add something cold into this hot oil, it's going to cool it down. Oh yeah, look at that. The shrimp is nice and crispy. It's cooked for approximately three to four minutes. That's all it needs and I'm taking it out. I'm gonna put the shrimp onto a sheet tray lined with some paper towel. Another good rule of thumb is right after your fried product comes out of the fryer, you wanna salt it right away when the product is nice and hot and that salt will dissolve. And while I wait for this second batch, I'm gonna have me a piece of shrimp. Mm. Woo. Next thing we're gonna make is a sauce and I'm gonna start with some Kupi mayonnaise, which is a Japanese mayonnaise. Sweet chili sauce. And this is something a little special for Justin's sandwich. I'm taking just a tiny bit of kefir lime leaf powder. We're gonna whisk this up, give it a taste. Nice. I am not even gonna touch that. That is absolutely perfect. That kefir lime leaf powder makes everything taste so much better. We got our hot plate back. I have a wok here and I'm gonna heat up just about a tablespoon of oil. While I wait for this wok to get hot, I'm going to slice open one of my plain baguettes and get this toasting in the oven. The wok is nice and hot. I'm just gonna put some shallots in here and garlic, cook it for maybe 30, 40 seconds just to get it aromatic. I'm gonna add my shrimp, and this is the secret ingredient. This is white pepper powder. There's not a lot of black pepper to be found in Asian cuisine, and that is it. Super simple salt and pepper shrimp. Now I'm gonna thinly slice some scallion. I'm adding this to a bowl with some bean sprouts. I'm gonna put some fresh cilantro. Very gently toss it, mixing in all the ingredients evenly. We have our bread. I'm doing something a little different. I'm hollowing out both the bottom and the top side of the bread. Placing our shrimp onto the bottom half of the bread. Get all that shallot and garlic. 
Let's top it with some of our sweet chili sauce aioli with that kefir lime leaf powder. Top it with our salad. Let's do some fresh squeezed lime juice. And I'm gonna put some of this raw Fresno chili. I was originally gonna cook it together with the shrimp, but with the bread, with the fried shrimp, I wanted a bit more freshness in this sandwich. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Justin's Wang. I mean, the Wang. The Wang. Let's cut this baby in half. Or I should say, let's cut Justin's Wang in half. <laughs> let's split this open. Moment of truth. Oh, that looks phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to bite into these fresh flavors. Let's go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This came out so much better than I expected. And the kefir lime leaf powder that I put into the sauce when it blends with the vegetables, it kind of like opens up. It kind of breathes and I get this really nice aroma. Even though there's this thick bread, this deep fried shrimp, it is not heavy one bit. I like really spicy food. So next time, if I were to make this sandwich for myself, I would use Thai bird chilies to really kick up the spice. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode as much as I enjoyed devouring that sandwich. I cannot wait to dive into the second half. If you'd like to see the entire questionnaire filled out by Justin Wang, go to my website. There'll be a link in the description below. If you're also one of the 95% of my viewers who are not subscribed, please subscribe. That's all I'm asking you. It's not like I'm asking you to hit the thumbs up too and leave a comment or hit the notification bell as well. All I want is just for you to subscribe. That's it. Thank you so much for watching Sandwich Sunday. I have been your host, Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.